Hello everyone, this is another Kintools tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a pipeline of generating a 3D model from an image with ConfUI for camera tracking with Geo Tracker for Blender. You guys asked for it because oftentimes there's no matching geometry at hand, so let's go ahead and jump in. This is the footage we have for today. We're gonna do a geometry-based camera track. Of course, we don't have a proper model of this scrap car, but we can get one with ConfUI. Let's go launch ConfUI. If you don't have it on your computer, you can check out one of the installation videos. Find the link in the description. There we go, it's empty now. So let's open the workflow folder. You can find it in the materials for this tutorial. The link is also down below. And just drag this 3D model generation JSON file over to the ConfUI. This is a ready-made project. As you see, there are several groups of nodes here. We're gonna go quickly through them now. This is the main group. Over here, we load a screenshot of our footage. Obviously, we cannot expect a super accurate model built from a single image, but we can make it as close as possible by choosing a three-quarter view. This way, we give it an information about at least two sides of the model so we can build a more or less matching form. We can see the image dimensions just below. We'll leave the same dimensions in the image resize node. We could make it higher, like 1024, but we only need a 3D model. We don't need its texture at this stage, so we'll leave it as it is. We'll also need to download the Hanyuan 3D model. You can watch a short tutorial about installing this model in ConfUI using the link again in the description box. If you have it installed, it's going to pick it automatically here in the Model tab. If it's not, you can go to the Edit and then click Refresh Node Definitions or just press R. If you have some other nodes missing, you can go to the Manager and click on Install Missing Custom Nodes. Alright, so in this node we have our Hanyuan model loaded. Below here is a sort of a mesh generator. Note this guidance scale parameter. It defines how close the output model is going to be to the input image. The lower the value is, the more creative Hanyuan is going to get. And the higher the number, the more lookalike the model is going to be. 5.5 is the default value and it's good to start with. Steps is the parameter that determines how many iterations the model performs to refine the mesh output. 50 is a good balance of quality and speed. Then we need to make sure that the octree resolution in the decode node is the same as the input image. And also that these three parameters in the post-process mesh node are set to true. We also have a maximum number of faces here. The default value is 50,000. For our camera tracking purposes, 25,000 is just as good. Then, in the export mesh node, we can give our 3D model a custom name if you want. And then we have a preview. Once we hit generate, it's going to appear here. So these are going to be the main settings for us. Over here, we have a group of nodes, which is also very important. This is a delighting network. It processes the input image to remove the lighting effects, basically to remove shadows, highlights, and the like for more consistent 3D rendering. It's important that we have the same resolution as our input image here in the delight image and also in the solid mask node. Nodes. And we'll see a preview here as well. The next two groups of nodes are for creating a texture. We're not going to touch them because all we need now is a blank 3D model. Okay, now that it's all set, we can go ahead and press Q and then just wait. Now there comes a mask preview and you can see the progress of the 3D model generation as this green bar on the nodes. It's going to take a while, but it's totally worth waiting. Let's fast forward in order not to make this video too long. So it's finished generating the model and we can see it in the preview. If you're not quite satisfied with the result, you can play with the parameters and we talked about earlier, or you can go here and change this control after generate from fixed to randomize. Then every time you hit Q, you're gonna come up with a slightly different result. Let's take a look at what's going on down here. As you can see, we already have a texture, normal and depth maps. And now we have texture generation going on. Let's wait for it to finish just to see the textured result. Here's a texture preview. Then we have an upscaling algorithm over here. But like I said, we don't need it for tracking. So let's go to Blender, delete the default cube and light, create new geo tracker, load our footage. I already have it analyzed. You'll need, of course, to click the analyze button. Let's import our 3D model. It's going to be a GLB and you'll find it in the ConfUI folder, Output 3D. We have both textured and non-textured models here. Let's select the one without texture and hit Import. Note that it comes in quaternions, so we need to go to the object properties and change it to Euler, because that's what GeoTracker works with. As you can see, our model is parented to a null. We can unparent it, delete the null and give it a name. 
Then, as usual, we select it in the geometry input here and go to the pin mode for actual tracking. Here we go, we have our 3D model as a green mesh here. Let's switch to camera tracking mode, because that's what we want in the end. But even if you track it in the geometry mode, you can then go to the scene tab and convert your geometry animation to camera, and of course vice versa. So let's now line up our model in the initial frame. Of course we should not expect it to match perfectly, since we built it from a single image. We'll also need to turn on focal length estimation. Let's track forward, pause when we see that it goes off, fix it, track on, pause again, a bit of more lining up, and just go like this till the end of the clip. Then press refine all to calculate the animation between our manual keyframes. And there we go. Here's our final track. Let's take a look at it in 3D. As you see, we've basically recreated our arc shot in the 3D world. We have the scrap car model in the center and a sort of a camera flyby. If you need to put your scene somewhere else while keeping the animation, you can go to the scene tab position and move it around by changing these values. That's it folks, I hope you'll find it useful for your object tracking pipelines. Download Geo Tracker for Blender from Kintools.io if you haven't already. Give it a shot, give this video a thumbs up if you've liked the content, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell to stay informed about our new tutorials and releases. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.